Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Hope you are doing well today. Man, I want to do this video because I just felt inspired. I went on a walk earlier today with my dog. Took her for a quick walk. And um, my mind was just racing. My thoughts were just racing. And this idea just came to me like this, this strange fallacy that we picked up along the way for a lot of us. Um, it's this false notion of us just not being good enough. Right, us being told that by other people, us picking that up from our environment, from family members, from friends, like just for some of us who've gone through the educational system, right? This imposter syndrome. Like, where does this all begin? Where does it all start? Right, because now I'm at the point where it's all nonsense. It's always been nonsense. Right, like I don't know where that stemmed from, but it's such a big component in other people's lives that stop them from pursuing what they actually want to pursue right because they believe they're not good enough right when it when some people are trying to apply for certain schools or jobs they think they're not good enough that they're 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 underqualified and then they have to go back to school or they need more experience to get that position it's like bro we're capable of anything we are powerful spiritual beings we are creators we can create the lives that we want to have, right? You could do whatever it is that your heart's desire is not based on some sort of criteria. It's not based off some sort of checklist that you need to fulfill, right? O only in certain cases, right? Like if you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, things like that, right? Then obviously you would need to have a degree and a license, right? Because for example, with doctors, you're working with other people, like you need to it's illegal to not have a license to practice medicine, right? Obviously, people's lives aren't are at stake there. But I'm talking about for other people who who want to pursue other career paths or do other things, right? Wh whatever your bliss is, whatever your true joy is, there's a lot of people that are discouraged from pursuing that, either because they don't have the answers, either because they're they want to be perfectionists and they want to get it right the first time. Not knowing that them waiting for perfection is what's slowing down their progress because you only grow from learning and doing and learning from mistakes and improving along the way. Like you're never going to get it right the first time. If you do, congratulations. But for most of us, probably won't be the case. But in general, it's just this, this fallacy. Since when did we ever believe that we were not good enough, that we were not capable enough. Where did we ever pick that up along the journey? Like, who lied to us? Because I'm at this point now where I'm older, I'm wiser, right? I have a greater understanding. I'm more self-aware. Now, at this point in my life, I can see that that's complete nonsense. I'll give you guys an example. So, I remember a few years back, I met a woman who was a director at a firm. And for those who aren't familiar with the structure of financial firms, uh, she was a director, which is pretty much one of the highest positions there. So if I were to give you guys a visual, right? At the very bottom, you have the analyst. And then it goes from an analyst, an associate, and then a manager, and then an assistant director, and then a director, right? So that's the general template that it follows, right? So think of it as at least four or five levels up, right? maybe more and so this woman was a director at the firm right she's been with the firm for 20 years and funny enough she was a director only having high school experience so she had no college experience she didn't have her bachelor's her master's none of that only high school experience and experience being at that company meanwhile in order to even get hired at the company for the most junior role the analyst you need a bachelor's degree so to me, that told me that this checklist, these requirements that are always instilled, like all it is, is pretty much to just filter people out. I mean, of course, everyone wants to find any company wants to find the most qualified, you know, individuals that are applying. Like, I, I totally understand that. But um, it's not the end all be all. 
right and those are for all my job seekers but if you're someone who's you know pursuing entrepreneurship really going out there and pursuing your dreams that's outside of the traditional um either corporate job nine to five etc go out there and pursue your dreams like don't feel like don't don't hesitate like bro you gotta trust that like you gotta go all in you gotta trust that believe in yourself believe that you're capable of of doing whatever it is that you want to do because one thing that was told to me is if you're able to dream it then you're capable of achieving it if you can envision it you can have it if you can envision it in your mind you can hold it in your hand right because the mind will do all the heavy lifting for you the mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's not right and so you are capable you are you are more than enough you are all world and that's what i tell myself that's the reminder that i give myself whenever i feel down whenever i feel out whenever there's moments that are that just feel dull or if i feel like i'm in a position where you know i think to myself hey i'm not where i want to be at this point in my life like that's okay because everything's already working itself out for me there's no reason for me to be impatient there's no reason for for me to to, to feel like i need to rush it there's none of that because i know i'm already more than enough i know all it'll take is just belief and honestly some time of course maybe a little bit of effort but it'll never be just effort it's your energy it's your belief that you're more than enough that you're capable so just remind yourself from time to time that you got this that it was meant for you that you can just pursue it and and be confident that that you'll be good that everything will be taken care of you don't even have to worry about the the minor details man just put one foot in front of the other and just keep and keep going and I'm glad I'm at the point now where me being so young that I'm able to see that for myself, see that with my own eyes, right? That I've been able to expand and grow so much that I can no longer be put in a box because I know I've, I've outgrown that. I'm much more than that. That I've picked a new mission. And that now I have something to look forward to every single time. Every single time I pick up the camera, pick up the microphone, make these videos. I know I'm serving a higher purpose, right? I'd be able to look back at this and smile and be proud of my work, right? It's something I could pass down along to generations, right? Even to my kids in the future. And so, man, take it easy. Enjoy this journey. Take it one step at a time, but most importantly, have fun. Because you're all world. You're capable of anything and everything. Whatever you want in this lifetime, you can have it. So I hope this video works wonders for you. Hopefully this is something that you keep close by, that you listen to often. Right? Because everyone needs reminders of what's actually important. And I don't want anyone out there to feel like a victim to life, to, to, to feel helpless, to feel hopeless. Man, if you really knew who you really were, where you really came from. Like if you really knew the truth and believed it and internalized that. If there was ever any counter evidence to that belief, you just laugh at it. You shrug it off and laugh. You turn your back to it. You know it's nonsense. Just like believing that we were never good enough. Right? And I know there's so many people out there. Everyone has had that thought process at some point in their lives that they weren't capable. And then there's those people out there who go and achieve the same things that they initially believed they weren't capable of doing. And it's happened time and time again in our lives. So why is it that we can climb one hurdle, right? Get over this obstacle and then still have that same belief again, even if it's something that we've never done before and never accomplished before. So what? Like the, all that is, is just going to add to a journey. It's just going to make the journey that more exciting to have something else that we were able to do and accomplish. And then we'll look back at it and laugh and celebrate. Like, yo, look how far we've grown. Look how far we've come. It's going to be so much fun. 
So hopefully you found this video to be insightful. Hopefully you found that helpful. Hopefully you found it to be inspiring. Hopefully it was a video that's filled you with so much love and life and happiness. And hopefully that zest for life, that sparkle in your eye. That everlasting flame that burns inside of you. Right? That motivation, that eagerness, that joy, that feeling of, of being ecstatic. Hopefully that returns and stays with you throughout the journey. Hopefully if you're someone who's in a position right now. That you're currently in a position that you don't want to be just. Have a little patience and and have a little joy. Be grateful and tell yourself that, you know, this position that you're in right now, like it's, it's, it's only temporary. That soon enough, you'll be in a better spot. And enjoy it. I know it sounds it, it sounds crazy. Right, but just enjoy it because you know it's not gonna last forever, right? All it is is just a set of circumstances, and circumstances are always subject to change. So, believe that you're great, believe that you're capable, believe that you're good enough, and things will change for the better. And life will be so much fun, right? Because you'll be the one designing it, you'll be the painter working on the canvas. Each and every day, each and every moment. And it's only a matter of time before you step back and look at the finished product. You are capable. You are more than enough. You are all world. So once again, if you found this video to be helpful in any way, shape or form, your support is greatly appreciated. Please do leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. Any ideas you may have, any topics, anything, right? I want to read your comments. I want to engage with you guys. I want to create a safe space here. Do turn on post notifications. I'll be pumping out more videos like this soon. And do share this video with anyone you think would greatly benefit from this message. Once again, this is Joel, and I'm signing off. See you guys next time.